All right, welcome again. I'm going to show you how to configure SSH on your computer. We have, um, we have six machines. At the time of recording this video, we are running on um, Rail 6, which is currently the latest version of, it, of Red Hat. Okay, so uh, the SSH is um, um, defaultly installed on your PC. All right services the sshd that's the service all right so what we need to do is we need to um, um, configure the sshd from the configuration file which is vim etc ssh <coughs> sshd underscore config all right we go down there <coughs> the bottom uh, and we just need to put in users to allow allow users please remember that the A is capital the U is capital as well after writing um, after typing in allow users you push the tab okay and then you want to put in your users here um, so I have created a user called user, user, and then uh, it's <coughs> very beneficial for you to give um, allow the root as well here because um, this might go funny if you don't allow the root here it might uh, deny the root even if you have all the root privileges so you might want to give in root here so it's a tab between the um, allow users and user I push the tab button. And between the users that you want to allow, it's just a space. <coughs> Please remember that. Okay. Okay. We're just going to save that <coughs> and exit. All right. So, um, also, you might want to um, configure what domains can make it through SSHD to your PC. All right. So, you're going to do that with um, the configuration file called um, the exports. Ah, sorry. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Um, etc slash hosts that deny. These are the host hosts that you want to deny. Hosts that deny. And then you come in here and make an entry. Uh, you put in the name of the service, which is which is sshd. That and then tab. <coughs> no. SSHD, you might want to deny all. You might want to put in the name of a domain here to deny the domain. But for me, I want to deny everybody else apart from those from my domain, those hosts from my domain. All right. All tab except this should be in caps. This is um, what you um, knowledge you might need for your RHC exams as well. <coughs> Set tab again, and I'll put a wildcard dot example dot com. So anybody within this domain can make an SSH connection to my computer. So I'll just save that and go out. Want to restart the service? Service SSHD restart. <coughs> Good. It's fine. Everything is working fine. Um, you want to turn on SSHD on your run level. SSHD on. On. You might want to check out the list just to be sure. Okay. So we're on on our run level. Uh, level run level run level two, three, four, and five. Okay. So, um, fine. So, how do you make a SSH right now into the user account that we created? So, it's just SSH. You might want to clear the screen to make it all tidy. SSH. <coughs> uh, SSH. Sorry. Um, user is the name of the user we created. User at server. Twenty four is the name that's the domain name or the host name rather. 
password, give them the password, and we're in, user, right, server, join for, we're in, and then the home directory, alright, um, just before I close this video, I'd like to try from another p another computer, from the base machine, um, just to be sure that SSH works is fine. to log in via SSH into that PC um, SSH user at server 24 that example .com. that's fine yes give them the password and we're in Alright, so thank you for watching this video. As always, if you have any questions, you can ask, um, you can leave a quest, uh, your question down below in the comments or send me an email address. An email. My email address is in the description down below. My email address is thatcognoscenti at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.